There's a misconception today about how important having sex early with a guy is for him to pursue you, fall in love, and commit to you. So today I'm going to reveal five things that are stronger than sex for him to fall head over heels in love with you without having to risk more than you're ready for. It makes me sad when I see women who are intelligent, thoughtful, who are courageous, and are guilted or pressured into having sex sooner than they're ready for. And in the back of their minds, these women have sex sometimes not because they want to, but because they feel if they don't, a guy's not gonna be interested in them, he's not gonna pursue them, and he's definitely not gonna fall in love with them. So I'm here to tell you that you don't have to do it that way. I want you to take your power back. I want you to know that you don't have to have sex with a guy for him to fall in love with you, for him to commit to you. Now, at some point, you'll decide when the time is right for you to do that, but especially early on, I wanna make sure that you add two criteria to the list of qualities you've been thinking about in a guy. The first one is gonna be his capacity to step into the late gratification. Why? If a guy can't step into the late gratification beyond keeping his thing in his pants for longer, he's not gonna be able to save, he's not gonna be able to plan, he's not gonna be able to have an amazing career, he's not gonna be able to start a business, he won't be a great partner, he won't be a great parent. The late gratification is a quintessential value that you need to search for in a man, and this is just one microcosmic way for him to show that he has the capacity to do that. The second quality is his capacity to step into healthy protection. I'm not talking about controlling, I'm talking about him understanding that you have vulnerabilities as a woman, and specifically around sex, that are exponentially higher risk for you than for him. And as a result of someone who wants to look up for your best interest, not just his, he's going to put his needs of that desire on the back burner to protect your interests and protect your safety and protect your needs. If you do the things that I'm sharing with you, these five things that are stronger for the right guy than sex, for him to pursue you and fall in love with you, two things will happen. Either he will pursue you more vigorously and he will feel more bonded and connected with you. And when you do decide to have sex, it's gonna be a more magical experience or He's gonna tell you to your face that he can't do it, that he needs that test of physical connection before he can move on. And if that's the case, because the risk is higher for you, you can safely say, no thanks, move on, know that you're not leaving gold on the table. The first thing that is stronger than sex for a guy to fall in love with you is flirtatiousness. And I know it sounds simple, but let me share why with you. Because in the flirtatiousness stage is when desire increases. When desire increases, dopamine increases. When dopamine increases, guess what also increases? Motivation. Dopamine is the molecule of motivation. When there's more desire, there's more longing, there's more hope, there's more dreaming, there's more mystery. That's a super strong bonding agent that allows men who have pursuit in them to increase desire, to increase sexual tension, and to feel you in their heart constantly, to think about you, to wake up and have you in the back of their mind. Now, I understand that flirtatiousness, for some women, feels like a heavy, daunting thing. They feel like, I'm not doing this right, so I wanna simplify this as much as possible for you and ask you to make mistakes in the practice of this, and if you do, you'll get better at it really quickly. The first element, which most people skip in wanting to be more flirtatious is presence. The more present you are, the more in the here and now, the more grounded, the more into your breath you are when you connect with a man, that's 50% of being able to flirt, being present. So if you're not thinking all the time, if you're not looking at your phone, if you're not distracted by things that are not here and now, you'll be a far more powerful flirter with men. The second one is eye contact make more eye contact. If you couple that with smile, so if you're present, make eye contact and smile, that's 90% of the whole thing right then and there. You can also add physical proximity and physical touch every now and then, and if you end it with banter, with playfulness, with something that makes it light, that combination, that range, practiced again and again, and you need to be able to give yourself permission to make mistakes as you do this, that will be the first thing that a guy needs really strongly to start falling in love with you and to pursue you. Number two is gonna be emotional validation. Why emotional validation? Because he's going to need to understand you, your needs, your heart, as much as you need to understand him, 
And the more you understand him and his wants, his needs, his uniqueness, his differences, the way he views the world, and this is through questions, this is through time spent together, this is through conversations. Being out in the world, connecting, allows you to develop that emotional connection. When a guy has an emotional connection with you, he's gonna be far less likely to ghost you, far less likely to have sex with you and then forget about you, far less likely to stop communication between dates. The more emotional connection that exists, if the guy is not an avoidant type, the more he's going to want to spend time with you, the more he's going to want to think about you, the more he's going to want to do things for you. So emotional connection before physical connection, make that a principle in your life. Number three is what I call radical confidence. Why? Because confidence is the thing that in the back of his mind is going to make him know that he's more valuable as a man and as a human being as a direct result of connecting with you. He feels lucky to have you connect with him because you value yourself and as a result of you valuing yourself, being with you makes him more valuable human being. Radical confidence includes body confidence. I'm gonna start with body confidence because we're in a, we're in a world of things we can touch and feel and see. So the more confident you are about your own body, the more connected you are with embracing what you have, what you bring to the table, whether it's curves, embrace your curves, whether you're more slim, embrace your slimness, whatever it is that you have and hold right now, connect to the beauty and the presence of that and feel the capacity to express that unapologetically as you move around in the world. That, that's a strong, strong force in his chest to move forward and to fall for you. Next one is gonna be connection to your worth and that's part of the confidence thing that I'm talking about. When you understand that you have inherent worth, that you matter, that your ideas matter, that you are someone who expects connection at a certain level, respect, you can set boundaries, that connection to worth, again, increases and enhances his capacity to view you, to value you, to want to connect with you, irrespective of having sex with you or not. Before I share the last two points here, if you're watching this right now and you're single, my hypothesis is you may not fully understand the core reason why you're single. If you wanna go beyond the symptom and understand the core reason why you're single, I've taken 12 years of helping women find love and put them together. In a simple quiz, you can take in about 60 seconds that will show you the primary blind spot that's keeping you single. If you want your answer, all you have to do is go to the first thing in the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions, and in the next 60 seconds, you'll have two things. The answer to the question, why you're still single, and a report that's gonna show you, based on your unique blind spot, what's the number one thing you can do today to attract the guy you want way faster than your current trajectory. The fourth thing that makes him fall in love with you, that's stronger than sex, is your uniqueness to the forefront. When you're able to express who you are, what makes you you, everything, and I'm talking about the things that you love and the things that you hate, when you bring them out to the forefront, gives him permission to do the same thing, gives him permission to not have to be perfect, and gives him the ability to understand the core of who you are. There's so many qualities and values that you may be holding poker face close to your chest, and if you are more courageous in expressing them, he will understand far more powerfully and far more quickly the beauty and the amazing nature and the uniqueness that you bring to the table, which makes you stand out a lot from other women he's connecting with, from other people in his past. So uniqueness and capacity to express uniqueness, having that range is something that is stronger than sex for him to understand who you are, for him to fall for you, for him to get to know you, and for him to really crave spending time with you. And the last one is, you may have guessed it, vulnerability. I'm gonna describe it in a very simple way. Do you need him in your life? Are you vulnerable enough and do you know him well enough to know that he brings such a value to your life that you actually need him in your life? I'm not talking about this codependent, I can't live without him situation, but I'm talking about who he is in your life, the support he provides emotionally, the connection that you have with him, the ideas he brings, the light he brings into your life. Do you actually need him in your life? And are you courageous enough to show him through your actions, through your accepting of his service, that you actually value and benefit from him being in your life? If you're a fiercely independent type of woman who have learned that the only way to move forward in life is to kick ass and take names and just do it all alone, it's better than being someone who needs a person to function in life, but it's not as powerful as someone who can live in an interdependence without which 
life lacks the sense of aliveness and joy at the highest level. So are you vulnerable to let him know your truth, your fears, your needs, your hopes, your dreams, and also to let him add value to your life? That idea is gonna be like the icing on the cake that's gonna make him fall head over heels in love with you. You can have lots of qualities and you can have a great sexual tension, you can have a lot of confidence, but if ultimately he doesn't feel he can add value to your life, he will not fall for you long term. Hope this is helpful and useful. If this is adding value to your life, it would mean a lot to me if you click like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to go further and understand how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or stupid techniques, go to this video right here and watch it right now.